It is usually a full thickness wound and it has a side of entrance. Trauma is usually caused by a sharp and pointed instruments like needles, sticks, pencils, knives, arrows, pens, glass, and any object with sharp edges. The most common materials involved are wood, metal, and stone. And for the scenarios that put people at risk of such injury are chopping or cutting wood, hammering metals or nails, and carving a stone. And the profession that are at risk of such injury are farming, garage work, and carpentry in adults. Children mostly sustain accidental injuries by rubber bands, needles, pencils, sticks while playing with others. And for the main symptoms, we have redness of eye, hemorrhages, congestion, lacrimation, photophobia, itchy or watery of the eye, blurring or loss of vision, change in pupil shape, blood or fluid leakage from the eye, foreign object penetrating eye. Now for the do's and don'ts, do not flush the eye with any liquid other than salad or warm water or even better just do not touch the eye. Do not remove the object out of the eye. Do not put any pressure on the eye and do not rub your eye. The common diagnostic procedures for penetrating injuries are external examination of the eye, measurement of intraocular pressure using tonometer, direct ophthalmoscopy, indirect ophthalmoscopy, slit lamp examination, visual acuity test, ultrasound, and electroretinogram. And for the management, we need observation, and then prophylactic topical antibiotics for small lacerations, and for large lacerations that are greater than 2 millimeters, we need surgical repair. What is a foreign object in the eye? Foreign object in the eye is something that enters the eye from the outside body. It can be any, anything that does not naturally belong there, from a particle of a dust to a metal shard. When a foreign object enters the eye, it will most likely affect the cornea or the conjunctiva. A foreign object that lands on the front part of the eye cannot get lost behind the eyeball, but they can cause scratches on the cornea. These injury, injuries usually are minor. However, some types of foreign objects can cause infection or damage your vision. Examples of foreign objects in the eyes are eyelashes, dried mucus, sawdust, dirt, sand, cosmetics, contact lenses, metal particles, glass, glass shards. If you have a foreign object embedded in your eye or you're helping someone with this problem, it's important to get medical help immediately. To avoid further injury to the eye, number one, restrict eye movement. Number two, bandage the eye using a clean cloth or gauze. Number three, if the object is too large to allow for a bandage, cover the eye with a paper cup. Four, cover the injured eye this will help prevent eye movement in the affected eye. So we are going to discuss about eye brains. First is chemical brains. 
A chemical burn occurs when a liquid chemical contacts the eye. Most commonly, the injury happens when a chemical splashes over the eye. Chemical burns may also result from rubbing the eyes after handling chemicals. So symptoms of chemical burns to the eyes are stinging, a burning sensation, redness, pain, swelling of the eyelids, and blurry vision. These are the diagnoses of chemical burns to the eye. The first one is irrigation. The doctor will or the doctor or ophthalmologist will first flush your eyes. The second one is the full, full eye examination to check for the location of the burn and the amount of damage. The third one is the fluorescein evaluation. This involves the use of a special dye that colors damaged or dead eye tissue. Um, its color is yellow-green when viewed under ultraviolet light. These are the treatments for chemical burns to the eye. The first one is pain-relieving pain medication. The second one is topical antibiotics to reduce the risk of infection. The third one is dedicated eye drops. The fourth one are lubricants which are applied to the eye surface to prevent the eyelids from sticking to the cornea as it heals. Another one is anti-inflammatory medications. And the last one is eye patch is worn until the eye recovers. I never made it. Chemical burns. A chemical burn occurs when a liquid chemical contacts the eye. Most commonly, the injury happens when a chemical is splashing. <laughs> splashing. <laughs> the diagnosis of chemical burns to the eye. Turn. 